Hey people, Zarth Thwomp here, and welcome to episode 29 of Diagon Rampa. Last time, we explored the third floor of the school, and we, in this episode, we're going to talk to people about our experiences, what our thoughts, and Taka is still catatonic. It, it, like I said, I just can't get over how lovely this is. Now, Taka just being obnoxious, like, well, let's talk to Tina. So, um... Um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be? It didn't happen to be a donut related discovery, did it? Hmm. What does that even mean? It's right. Never mind. It's at the nurse's office, remember? There's one on the first floor, right? Well, I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then, did you find any protein in there, or even vitamin supplements? We hmm. I did look, but no dice, just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. Yes, headache medicine! Rick, if I was in that school, that's all I'd need. Just headache medicine. Just give me some Advil and I could regrow a limb. I see. I see. That's disappointing. Aww. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure if it's... Eh, sorry. I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Okay, let's talk to you, hero. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Byakuya a little while ago. Uh, what? You where? Me. Where was he? What? what? You're kind of scaring me. Uh, where was he? Uh, um. He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have gotten from the library. Oh, I got real by the pool. I don't know. No, 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 no. So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. Nice knowing you, Byakuya. <laughs> huh? She just ran off. Is 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 she okay? Toko is never okay. <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Yes. But Taka. I'm just savoring this. I know I mean I may sound mean when I do this, but just. After all the grief Taka has put me through in this playthrough, to almost 30 episodes of it, I just want to savor the fact that he is not bugging me and I forgot to turn the timer on. I was that in, 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 in Taka's catatonic state, savoring it like one would a fine wine. It's no use. It's no use! Kyoko? Correct. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. The air purifier. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Stop taking my life, Makoto! Huh? Huh? What's something like that doing there? Mm -hmm. Well, the fact this place is sealed... Well, this school is sealed in. No air can really get in. So of course we need an air purifier. Otherwise we'll all suffocate. Is, is, that de is the device really that big? Hmm. I really don't get it. Uh, uh. Okay, Celeste. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a record up on the third floor. I have no doubt that our soon life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. Oh please, you're just happy because of the billiards table and the fact that you can hustle us. <laughs> <laughs> will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? That depends. Are we doing bets? Because I'm not joining you. You're the ultimate gambler. Think I forgot about that? I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows and the halls and the rooms were blocked off. I wish they give this a reservoir. For serious, give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. You made it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Huh. Just to, be sh just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. Okay, we're officially screwed. I mean, look at you. You're the missing link. You can freaking tear those things off with ease. You should be. So in the end, it would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. And with Mondo's death, the feminists probably have given up trying to get into the school. <laughs> I see. Okay. Let's talk to Hifumi and learn about his 3D. His 2D, sorry. It was an item on the third floor, and it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> so 
<laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh my gosh, I was right. He's gonna create his material. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. A digital camera. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. It looks like it can store like five pictures, maybe. It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well. On top of that, it, its appearance seems questionable. Is it some kind of anime character? Strange. No, nothing. Rude! See that friend? She's my Princess Pickles from Demon Angel Star Pretty Pudgy Princess. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Oh, you recognize this for me? It's probably his. <laughs> Of course I recognize it! It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention! You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah. Please tell me that you just bought it off the guy and that you didn't rig the bingo contest? Because if it's the latter, that is just a whole nother layer of creepy. Now I can add your character, Fumi. You're like a wear cake! Wait, that's my, wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation! <laughs> it's like young damn age, I guess. I guess that's replacing piece of that piece of crap from Mondo. Wait, where did you find it? In the physics lab. <laughs> it's my youth prize edition! I brought it here with me when I lost it the first day, I lost it my phone! Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? Because Monokuma placed it there after getting creeped out by the contents. And this is Monokuma we're talking about. He this guy gets enjoyment out of all kinds of Absurd, deranged stuff. And he's leaving this camera around like he didn't even want it. What's that tell you? Eh, and look at it! What? It got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a secondhand skirt. Shirt! Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? It's not me condition. I don't need it anymore. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> and may I have it? And I'd be able to find some sort of use for it. Oh my gosh! The Hifumi Celeste ship is coming in! Freaking Hifumi is dragging it into the docks! If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Hmm. Now, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take pic any pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. Well, we haven't heard what Toko has to say. So now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently, Monokuma took it. Huh? A weird picture? You mean, like, dirty? I would not blame you for thinking that, considering just how Monokuma's been acting. No, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Jihiro all together. Why? Those three? And the three of them were laughing. Oh. It's um, the three of them together, laughing? When could that have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well then. Then, the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. Well... You, you probably didn't imagine. Monokuma cast a spell on you! No, I saw it. I'm telling you. Hmm. Like, it wasn't taken before we got here, or after we got here. How about that? I bet they're still alive! They left the school and then took the picture! Is that right? That's impossible, after all. We've seen... We saw them... We saw Leon die. <laughs> we saw Mondo die. And we... And we saw Ch Chibi's corpse. Really. We saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. <laughs> I just love how they keep lying that one Monokuma with Mondo's air picture. <laughs> <laughs> the developers were truly proud of that moment, just that idea. And I do not blame them. I would have been showing that wherever I could up as well. Either murdered or executed, and they're not the only ones. Wanakuma killed Junko, and then there's Sayako. That wasn't an illusion. It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out what, when that picture was taken. <sighs> when I come on most likely forged it, I can't imagine any other possibility. Well, here's a theory. Maybe the three of them were students here. Maybe they went to the school before 
things happened, they moved away, things like that, and they came back. I don't know. Maybe one of them was a deranged teacher. Maybe Tommy Gilligan, he took a job here as a teacher and went crazy. Of course, is that all there is to it? Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right. But more importantly, <laughs> on another topic, there's something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Okay, so us, we'll discuss your topic. <laughs> there's also something that's been bothering me. Which I would like to discuss. Yes, what is it? What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually, it's about Hina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said your son could, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. Rick, are they good? Oh my gosh, does she have Apollo's perceivability? Are we gonna hear that doo doo that distorted Apollo theme? That doo 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 doo. It's called a tell. Oh my gosh, this is Apollo Justice. Something that it's called a tell. Something that you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Oh my gosh, you hear that? Or Celeste is really true, see. Several years in the future. Is that okay? Whenever he lies, the tip of her nose gets just a little bit longer. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> oh my gosh, that Actually, no. Huh? Huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh my gosh. It all makes sense now why she's the ultimate gambler. She has the perceivability. Oh. That, that's unfair! <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Where are you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? Are you guilty sure of about it. something? Are you guilty about not telling me your feeling? Just a second. No, that's not it at all. But... It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Okay, so what is this reason, Hina? You know? Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe. Oh my gosh, she's going to tell us that she saw Chibi's ghost. Chibi's haunting the school. <laughs> the truth? Well... I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But, but I mean, ghosts are- What the heck? See? I told you you wouldn't believe me! It's not that I don't believe you, but- Hina, I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um... Um, so it happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept- I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. I ended up just getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Uh -huh. Donuts again? Oh, like you have room to talk? Oh, so, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Wrong name. I thought it was Hifumi. Donuts again? Oh, okay, that was an embarrassing moment. Honestly. And you ignored the rule regarding the Sorry. Time? I know, sorry. I feel really bad about that. You know. Anyways, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse. So I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look, look inside. And I saw a human shape, surrounded by a pale green light. There was no doubt who it was. It was Jihiro! Yes, Chibi's haunting us. It's true. Yeah. Oh, no way! A ghost. Honestly, it's simply impossible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. I don't know. I'm, I'm not underestimating what Chibi is capable of. Well then, I cannot. I cannot trust anything right now. Just really after the events of episode 25. <laughs> like, I'll never forget that. Then all oh, we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what he is. <sighs> it is a waste of time. What, what else are we going to do here? Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? Like, really, what else do we have to do? Stay in the rec room? Watch Toko slash the Akuya's throat and, and stuff? Really? We, we don't know. If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? what? You're going to try to see a g g g g is that a really good idea? It might put a curse on you! 
You're a fortune teller. Don't isn't this like in your in your category? Like don't people come to you and talk to the dead? What the heck? You can't you can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to go home. Take me with you. Hey. Why are you going to do this? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Hmm. How about you, Miss Ichimaru? Are you going to wait here? Mr. Ishimaru. Oh my gosh, am I saying this? Okay, see you, Taka. Oh. I can't get it yet. Are you sure if it's mine, we can just sacrifice Taka to it? So, um, it was right here. I saw it right in the dressing room. Uh, um, uh, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I can do this for Kang. Sure enough, we'll be actually sure enough. Kina. Kina. Where was it that you saw Jihiro's ghost? Well... Well, I think it's sad, and when I opened the locker, I saw a little kind of pale outline of Jihiro. Okay, let's look in the locker. Let's see Chibi's ghost, let's see Hana. Um, it's this locker. There was something in here. A laptop. Huh, inside the locker is a laptop. What's something like that doing here? Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw in the library before. It looked like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did the laptop get from the library to here? It would seem... And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh. But I thought it was broken. Hmm. Maybe, yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Chibi was the ultimate programmer. Doing this probably wouldn't be out of his range. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light on the mo on the monitor for a ghost. Aw, poor Hina. Huh. I ain't surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. Why did you so uh, insult Hina? Oh no 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 no! I'm not I'm not doing it. I'm not going down there. I start backing girls up. They they turn out to be guys. I'm not, I'm not falling into the trap again. Ah! Uh, oh man! If we had the love's clueless girls attribute, I would have fallen in a big time just now. God, I'm so glad I don't have it. What the? I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, I didn't really expect that I have freaking locked up inside a freaking locker. Okay. Hey, it's okay, on. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, well, no, I thought I'd spot a gray alien, but it turned out to be a doubtful. What are you saying? Don't compare what happened to me to what your stupid delusion. Don't be mean. Don't be... <laughs> yes, good job, hero. Don't be mean. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? <laughs> Bring it now, now. He... No, we're not going to have two of them. Taka is more than enough. But listen, this isn't really strange. What's this laptop? Well, listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing in here? In other words... Maybe someone hid it here. But... Maybe Chibi had a message. If, maybe it's like the Obi-Wan... Maybe it's the, o, the Princess Leia hologram from Episode 4. If that's the case, we found it pretty easily. Wrong. You ever played here? I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Have you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's a difference? There's... No surveillance camera. Yes, it's Pre me. Precisely. There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. Hmm. Are so you hmm. saying someone put the mask hmm. in here so the mastermind wouldn't know about it? It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. Okay, will do. It's just what, like Kyoko said, this lays on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then... So, first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. I start hitting random buttons on the keyboard. And this light instantly began to go a pale green. There were a bunch of little different icons on the desktop. Hey. There's... the icon on the far left. What is it? It says, Alter Ego. Hmm. Alter Ego literally means another snap, I believe. Thank you, Celeste! What, what, are people just trying to take Makoto's role as the ultimate Captain Obvious? In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the alter ego icon, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark, and then always spoke to us. 
Master, you're here. We're good. The hog homo Jimmy! Jimmy is not gonna stop haunting me! Do your own face appear, taking up the entire display. Jimmy dis Jimmy transcended humanity. Oh, oh, no. oh, baby, Jesus, save me! Calm down. <laughs> yes, you want baby Jesus, not adult Jesus. Or angsty teenage Jesus. Calm down, it's not a ghost. What? Then what is it? Anyway... I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Choke will be inside, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. <laughs> I always get so embarrassed to introduce myself. Forget Chibi is now alive. Chibi is back with us. <laughs> Nothing can kill Chibi. That, that voice, the tone and everything. Mm -hmm. It's... Jiro. I knew it. All to ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. Oh my gosh, Chibi essentially reprogrammed himself into a computer. So now Chibi's back! Basically, it's supposed to imitate the personality of whoever programmed it. Or whoever's the target. In which case, Chibi did to prolong his life, essentially. That's right. The talent Jihiro earned his title of Ultimate Program. The AI lives in a computer, and by representing the being different cast, it gains knowledge and grows a bit by a bit. Apparently, Chihiro used a support vector machine in reinforcing the reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support vector machine, reinforcement learning. It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to get married, just I'm Google sure it, it, okay? Google is now apparently part of the Dragon Rampa canon. In other words, but if the AI, oh sorry, but if the, this AI continues to grow, it'll become more than just a piece of software to help people. Someday that an AI like this might someday replace people. Hmm. And that is why it's called Alter Ego, a fine choice then, I must say. You can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different than how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your Alter Ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what your hero created. That's alter ego. Joko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with this? Anyway, so he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there. That is what he meant, yes? And he brought the machine to this dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> but, hmm, but you know, all this about master and whatnot. Yes, yes. I believe I'm on fire. Oh my gosh. Celeste, back away, back away, Kafumi's getting hurt. Oh, he's getting aroused. I thought you were only in the 2D. Da, 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 da. It's the most excellent 2D possible! It's 2D that can replace 3D! Huh? But he's a guy, and also a computer program! I feel as if- Oh, that has fixed no problem! Well, apparently, I know what type of anime characters Kafumi likes. I mean... The aspect? Anyway... Anyways, let's talk in a little more. Joker typed away rhythmic, rhythmic get color. Ah, sorry. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Master only gave me a general idea. Well. But I do know that things have become very gray. He found himself, he found himself caught up in this world without warning. Joker immediately shot uh, add another question. Why are you here? That's right. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Essentially, this is the back of Chibi. In case the real Chibi was killed. No, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this laptop. Um. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. Master. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means that they contain some very important secrets. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. Okay, forget. <laughs> yeah, Chibi's alive once more. Just, I cannot believe this. I was busy struggling to make a sound. Jim will push forward and ask her another question. How much longer until everything's in lock? That's right. Um, it's going to be a while. Leave it to me. But I'm definitely going to do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So, because of how long it would take, he designed all to go to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart! It also means that work remains uninterrupted, even after he's dead. Once again, Jim will type quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's right. Don't worry, I can see what's going already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if any suspicious shows up, <laughs> I'll just give you the help me allow. 
It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. <laughs> yes, I thought it was going to be something like Chimmy would basically transmit Alter Ego into the... I would have it where Alter Ego transmits into the school's mainframe and basically just takes over everything. Like HAL 9000, Chibi 9000. Yes, indeed. I'm afraid I can't. Uh, I'm afraid I can't allow you to do that, Makoto. <laughs> that is fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay with this? Guy, our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about, about once it's nighttime? We take turns guarding the dressing room. However, there's a good chance the master would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So then, once I come, I'll leave the door of my room open. Then there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But, but, but if you leave your room, well, you're open all night. Then it's true. There's a chance I might become a victim myself. I know. However, but I'm not as weak as you may think. I won't go down without a fight. I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. That guidance was so, but similar to by the Aquia Stone, but, but at the same time different. Yeah, it had an entirely different level of feel for sure. Like someone who's been dropped onto a battle versus someone who's been born on a battlefield. I felt like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out my thoughts by the voice suddenly in the name from the laptop. So, um... Um, well, I'm, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um... I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... His master... For a full second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. But she heard just as fast and quickly began typing. It, her answer was clear, concise, direct. She here was dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. So, I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> Damn I kind it's of feel like... sorry for her! Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> It is a simple computer program. program. It does not have feelings. It's a chippy program. It, it transcends humanity. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyways, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. I don't know. N knowing Monokuma, what he's been saying, Monokuma could just think we're all having like a big, one big orgy in here. And then Kyoko type one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye bye. Yeah, I seemed totally different to, from when we first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his program, or could he have actually been worried about us? Could it be? Hmm. What's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online, and we could go for help from the outside. Hmm. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get it online from here. Well? Well. If we take it out here and find somewhere that does have all my access, hey! then that's way too dangerous. The master would find out in no time. Uh, um, oh yeah, true. Indeed. This is no time to be taking needless risks. Now I'm out of the progress on the file analysis. I'm confident we'll cover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. That feels kind of de that feels kind of like a detour more than anything else. But I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know. So should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <sighs> Goodbye. We'll be back. I promise. Okay, we're not letting Kafumi near it. We're not letting you take the Chibi program. I don't care if Chibi's a guy, really. But no one, no person, no matter who, should have to deal with this. <laughs> uh, Come on, Kafumi, let's go. I uh, suppose. Okay. Uh, okay. And we all left the dressing room. Okay, I'm going to end the episode off. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever it is that you want. And with that, I will see you later. Bye.